bearings and back bearings with a sighting compass. To use a sighting compass, hold the compass to your eye. Look through the viewfinder. Through the viewfinder, you'll see the dial with two sets of numbers. Bearings are in large type. To work properly, keep the compass level and flat. To check its level, turn your head side to side with the compass and see the dial moving freely. Move the compass away from your eye until you can see simultaneously both the numbers in the viewfinder and the objects in the distance. Note the object in the sighting notch when the indicator line is vertically beneath the sighting notch. In this instance, our bearing is 100 degrees, which lines up with the water tank. As long as you head towards this target, you are following the bearing. If you want to return to your origin, you need to follow the back bearing. On the dial, the back bearing is written in small type above the bearing. Note this number and turn until you see it again in large type. This will be directly behind you. Again select a distant target. By heading towards this target, you are now following the back bearing. To manually work out the back bearing of any bearing, add 180 degrees.